Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, it's not actually morning. It's probably about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I got home around 2.30 from uh, Fort Walton. Got some good sleep and then out running some errands today. Um, it is so nice to be home. It's so nice to be back in my mountains. Um, just love it here. You know, the creek is my happy place. Guys, this video is going to be really short. Uh, I want to have a couple little things on the agenda. One is I want to welcome and thank all of the new subscribers. You know, in the last month or so, we've had, I think, over a thousand new subscribers. And so some of you haven't figured out what the channel is about yet. Obviously, we work motorcycle rallies. You're going to get footage from motorcycle rallies. There's going to be uh, motorcycles and girls and the, the traveling between the rallies and so on and so forth. We also own a trucking company that's pretty much dormant right now, but at some point we're going to get that Kenworth back on the road. So there's going to be the projects working on that, projects working on Goliath. Um, and then, you know, we get some home time videos kind of like this. So anyways, I want to thank you guys. I hope you enjoy all of the content, even other than just the bike week stuff. But speaking of bike weeks, the next one is Laconia. And guys, we need your help. The Laconia Motorcycle Week, truthfully, isn't one of our better shows. Uh, as I've mentioned before, it's kind of on the chopping block. We we may do it this year and next year, because next year is the 100th anniversary. And if I don't see a significant improvement in those shows, I'm just going to cancel that off of my, uh, my, my tour. I'm just not going to do it. The last time we went there, which was 2019, um... Our sales were terrible. Um, they were literally, for the entire show, they were less than one of our really, really good days at Daytona. And we were set up for six or seven days, I believe. But on top of it not being the best sales show, it's also one of our more expensive shows for us to do. So that kind of hits us from both sides. The rent there is not cheap and the fuel getting there is not cheap. We have to go through some of the most expensive states, and at this point, you guys know what the fuel prices are doing. It's gonna be worse this year than it has been in the past. But with that said, I know that you guys, the, the, the people that view this channel, the people that subscribe to this channel, you guys are just awesome. Um, you guys have shown some really, really generous um, acts of kindness even your your support and the comments and everything it's all been great and because of you guys we've actually seen an improvement in our sales at the last few rallies as we've started to grow and become more popular and again i want to thank you for that but that's where i'm going to ask you for this as well if you're going to laconia and you need to get your bike serviced please wait till you get there and let us do it for you um, I'd really appreciate one meeting you guys, but we need all the sales help we can get at that show. Two, promote it. Um, here's the big issue we have with Laconia is we're actually at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway, which is down in Loudoun. And the, the people who run the Laconia Motorcycle Week and the people who run the Speedway festivities, they don't really communicate very well. So if you go to the Laconia Motorcycle Week main page, there is no mention that there's a crap ton of vendors out at the Speedway. That's where a lot of the demo rides are and some of the big vendors like us and Cycle Solutions and, and a bunch of others. Um, I don't even know who's all gonna be there this year. Now, if you go to the New Hampshire Motor Speedway website, you'll see it, but the average person going to Bike Week doesn't know to look there. So what I need you all to do, whether you're going to the rally or not, Please share the Speedway. Please let people know that there are events and festivities going on down there. I mean, there's racing and stuff too. Plus we got the vendors and everything. So it's a really cool thing. It would almost like people going to Daytona and not realizing that things were happening in Ormond Beach as well, or down at the Cabbage Patch or something. Um, but Daytona is so big, people know. Sturgis is so big, there's events going on everywhere. But for some reason at Laconia, everybody thinks it's downtown Laconia there at the Weir's Beach, which isn't really downtown Laconia, but Weir's Beach. The Harley dealer and turkey farm combination thing. And that's it. But guys, there is a third venue at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway, and that is where we will be. So we really need help promoting it. 
I don't want to go up there and lose money, obviously. I don't think any of you guys want me to go up there and lose money. Um, so just, yeah, if you could, reach out to everybody you know. Uh, find Facebook groups that are dedicated to motorcycle rallies and just, I mean, if we inundate it, maybe, uh, maybe it'll work out. All right, guys, that's really all I had to talk about today. But before I leave you, I went over to the Chatouche Dam, took a little bit of drone footage. It's quite beautiful, so check it out. It's right here. Thanks, guys. Till the next time I see you, keep those engines running.